So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get a, a capacitor 005 and we're going to bridge it <clears throat> onto the unit to see if we can get some output. Uh, basically there should be an output on one side which is the previous stage and then, then to the other side which is the uh, the next stage down. <clears throat> so in order to, to verify that we have an output we're going to hook up our unit. And that's the minus on this end. And this is the plus on this end. <clears throat> and uh, we are applying 12 volts. And we're hooking in. Now, uh, in this particular instance, um, let's see, that's the collector. That's looking at one of the collectors on the previous stage. <clears throat> now that's a little jittery. So we'll go back to this. Oh, well, we're not we're not getting that. We have a ground missing here. So no wonder it's so jittery. There we go. <clears throat> that's fairly square, but that isn't. See it? Fairly square. And um, what we're going to do is go down to the, this one here, for example, and we're not seeing it. So this one is there. That's the collector's output. That's the collector's output. That's the collector's output, but it's not correct. That one's not showing any output, but this, in, this one is. <clears throat> now the coupling capacitor is here. And there's a little tick coming out of it <clears throat> to the next stage. So what we're going to do is we're going to bridge the 005 with another capacitor of 005. And uh, if it does not uh, come back, then uh, we're going to change the transistors anyway. Alrighty, we were checking this one divider as to why it wouldn't run, and uh, we did get uh, a solution to it all. We tried some new transistors, that didn't do the trick, and then um, finally we're, we're looking at even all the resistors and capacitors, and we, we wind up with uh, a unit that is now working. Well, it was working. Hold on. There we go. That's the uh, that's the next divider, and that's that that's divider. So uh, that's the last divider you see, and that's the previous divider, third, fourth, and fifth, and there's my sixth, which is a an output. What we found, and this is going to really really thrill you is that the capacitor isn't shorted. It's just plain leaky. I mean really screwy leaky. <clears throat> There's the ohmmeter scale. This is the capacitor we took out. It should normally read at least 20 mega ohms or more and it measures a mere 183 or 200 ohms or so. Let's see if we can get a steady reading on there. There we go, 183 ohms, which for a capacitor would drive the flip-flop crazy, but isn't immediately obvious because there's a resistor across it. So you kind of wonder about something like that. And uh, this is supposed to be an 005, but it's actually uh, quite bad, if you must know. It knocked out the, um, the other oscillators in the previous card as well. Uh, for safety reasons and the fact that we'd like to uh, uh, keep things nice and equal, we're leaving our transistors in there. We're going to take this capacitor out and replace it with another one of these little blue units, which is in better shape than uh, the original. <clears throat> By the way, we found that with our transistors in there, it had a slightly better wave shape, possibly because the beta is a little better.
Hot stuff. Oh, I let her rip. <laughs> See what we got. It's there. It's in. <clears throat> yep, that's it. All there. Um, again, now let's go over what you found. All right. Well, what we did is we we had it flip flop. It just would not trigger properly. Uh, we thought it was initially transistors because uh, the ones from this era do eventually come up with a. Uh, symptom that is equivalent to silicon dry rot. Um, but in this case, it didn't turn out to be the transistor. Um, we looked at all the resistors on the circuit because this type of resistor, even though it's a 1% resistor, has been known to open up. Uh, this is from my experience dealing with uh, repairing instruments such as meters. Uh, and then the, um, the last thing we look at was the capacitors. Now. Um, we simply substituted a couple across there at one time and didn't notice much of a change. It didn't want to flip. But when we did a, um, a resistance reading for the points of the circuit, we noticed an unusually uh, lower resistance on that one side. And we took the capacitor out to be sure, and it turned out to be leaky. Just too leaky to work. We've replaced it, and that's it. concludes our tuning example.